Hello everyone. Welcome back to another video. And... Well, the last video didn't end so well. Due to the fact that... At the very, very end, I got... Absolutely horrified. Why is there... And why is my mouse disconnecting? Can I open the door, please? Okay. Look at the world. I just absolutely love how beautiful this game is. And I gotta do some things, which is... I'd like to get... Why does my mouse keep disconnecting? This is weird. I want to at least get a little bit more stuff done, like claim one of these houses as mine, or just build my own house. I also need to fill up the majority of these holes. Is that a will? Okay. And I need that sand. Or well, actually, wait, I'm pretty sure I'm able to drink from these water sources, if I'm not mistaken. What the? Okay, well, I don't like... Can I drink this? Oh. Okay, well. That sucks. Almost just died to that snow leopard. Which would have not have been fun. Oh, now I'm freezing. Is that a okay no, those are just more bisons. I wanna fill up the majority of these holes, cause obviously I don't want my obviously I don't want my villagers to keep dying because they fall into random pitfalls. And I think that's the reason why the majority of these people are depressed. There's these random pitfalls and then they keep falling in and dying. Okay. If I could just put cobblestone for now, but then I'll decorate it later. Is that an igloo? Hmm. This is cozy. Might live in here, now that I think about it. Oh, um, but my... Why is it redstone torch and all of that? Okay, I'm getting off track. Hmm. I, I just can't stop admiring this world. It's just so beautiful. So I'm guessing these are the blocks that you're able to fall in, and there's so many of them. I don't know how I'm going to go about that, but I do need to get some wood. This is kind of annoying that I'm stuck on this HP and can't do anything about it until I get water. Which the only way that I'm going to get water is if I have that sand and start making bottles. Oh, well this is fun. Do you need to mine some of these trees? Oh, they're big trees. These are depressing looking. Kind of bland. I just love the immersive fit, like feeling of everything. Um, is there a crafting table? Because I don't want to like break down their houses. Hmm. Oh, well, might as well just make my own. Okay, now I just need a shovel so I'm able to mine that sand. Because this is going to get really annoying really fast if I'm not able to move. Okay, well it's getting closer to night and don't want to deal with the majority of the mobs. I don't know how close it is to night, but I don't want to risk anything because I don't want to get jump scared. You know, I'm going to claim this one as my own for now, at least. That looks nice. Okay, can I sleep now? Oh wait, I think those were just clouds now that I think about it. Or is the sun setting? Hmm. Can't quite tell, but I do want to talk about something today, and that is to follow your dreams, because you gotta be quite smart when you want to follow your dreams, but you also gotta get encouraged, because obviously if you don't follow your dreams, you're not gonna be happy in life. And I always thought very stubbornly about that, because I always used to focus so much on trying to make others happy rather than making myself happy but they do kind of go hand in hand i just needed a bit more okay well i guess i'm not getting that time to go to sleep and now i'm dying now i'm slowed okay this is just fun i'm going to die oh duh oh okay well i guess the game didn't really like me then Okay, I don't want to go outside and potentially just get spawn camped. I'll get my stuff in the morning, but you gotta follow your dreams, guys, girls, anybody. 
You gotta be intelligent about the decisions because if you just blindly like, oh, I wanna be a YouTuber and have no experience with like editing, you gotta research about it. Same with the stock market, a whole bunch of different things. Okay, got all my stuff back for the most part. But, hmm. You wanna follow your dreams. I always used to tell myself, like, well, what's the purpose of doing that? If I'm not making big money, I'm not going to be happy in my life. But it's the ex exact, it's the exact opposite. Because if you don't obviously follow your dreams, you're going to get a career that you're going to be stuck with and not like so much. And that's why I didn't go to college, due to the fact that I don't have a burning passion to be an engineer, a doctor, study for a whole lot of time. Gotta be smart about this. Oh wait, can I just make a canteen now that I think about it? Huh. Well, I guess I could just say that I'm following my dreams right now. Playing... Why are they all so sad? Hello. Talk. I'm good, how are you? That's good. Bringing these other people sad. They can't get through fence gate. Can you move? Move. Okay. Hi. You're good. Hello. You're depressed. Spent the night. Chat. Hello. Good. Well, now you're unhappy. Hmm. This world is just so beautiful. I can't get enough of it, honestly. Yeah, we're at the spawn point, and then I'm gonna stash all these seeds and resources in here. And then I also gotta make some glass, so I'm gonna go to bottles. How do I make a canteen now that I think about it? Probably was, since it didn't pop up. And I don't even have leather. <laughs> at least I got glass now. Okay. Oh, man, my mouse disconnected for like fourth time. Hmm. Oh, and I gotta plug, plug up all these holes. Oh, wrong thing. I could like barely see my hot bar because my mic is currently sitting on my water bottle because it's snapped in half. Start mining all of this. But something that I found interesting is that our culture is so stuck up with, oh, we want our kids to be perfect, so we're gonna force them to get good grades in school because that's the best. That, that is not, not how you uplift your kids. Because <laughs> I personally believe, and this is just my opinion, but I personally believe that you should uplift your kids by pushing them to be the best of themselves. Like, Oh, you want to be an artist? Well, spend most of your time drawing. You want to be a professional athlete? Spend most of your time grinding for that success. If you want to be a YouTuber, research about it. Uplift your kids about it. Don't just say, oh, you got to go to college because that's what everybody says. And I personally don't like that because it took me a while to find myself and just look. Do I want to go to college? Is this going to make me happy? Could I potentially find better career choices? And that's what I did. I'm currently recording videos, talking about life, giving wisdom, uplifting others. That's what I personally like about having a YouTube channel at that. How... <laughs> How did you? Okay. I don't want to hit any of you. Get out. Do I have cobblestone? I do. You, you. <sighs> this guy's not the brightest guy. Did I just hurt you? No? Am I dying? Okay, good. Leave. So I'm able to patch up all these holes. Just follow your dreams, guys. That's the only thing that I can advocate for. Because what happened to all that creativity as a kid? 
Oh, you want to be an astronaut? You want to be... Start up a giant tech company? Making... Doing what makes you happy, most importantly. Don't say... Don't limit yourself, most importantly. Because if you limit yourself, obviously you're just giving up on the idea of Oh, I want to be this artist. Oh, I want to be a YouTuber. I want to be an astronaut. I want to be in the army. Like, just follow your dreams and passions. Do what truly makes you happy. Is it the same? Yeah. I'm using the shovel for no reason. It could be any type of dreams. You want more friends. You want, well, good friends. You want to create a family. Well, obviously you got to work for all of these things. And the product of all this work is truly bettering yourself, bettering, bettering yourselves. Because if you're willing to make the money to financially support your family, so they don't have to live day to, on a day-to-day -day basis, whether choosing what meals you gotta eat and all this other stuff, because that's how I was raised. Not the richest, but my mom was able to get by, and that's what I'm truly <laughs> grateful for. Hey, okay, where are the other holes? Is that another one? That's a lot. Oh my, it's gonna take a lot longer than I expected. Okay, hopefully you guys are able to hear the music now. Is that just... Honestly, the music kind of just defines Minecraft in my opinion. Just the relaxing tune, placing blocks, that's what's the best of it. And something that I also find interesting is that a lot of people love to have others dictate their lives. Like, don't be so focused on seeking advice from people who aren't the best at giving it. Only seek for things that uplift you. Now if you have friends telling you, oh you're never gonna make it big, why are you even thinking about this? They're just bringing you down. Why are you gonna allow these people to bring you down when as a kid, you're like, oh, I wanted to do this, I want to do that. I have so many different dreams that I want to act on. There's a lot of stuff, which I might have to save for the next video. Which this isn't too exciting of an episode. Episode video? I don't know. So I just do want to do a little bit more stuff, but I gotta take care of the basics before, you know. And now my shovel's broken. Actually, it probably would have been a better idea to... Whoa, you are speedy. You have a flower. What? Hi. Hello, depressed. How could this happen? He was so full of life. What happened? <laughs> Widow, oh. How many people did you lose? I feel, I feel bad for you. Chat. Hi. I'm good, how are you? Chat. Oh, wait, did I just see this guy? Well, I gotta thoroughly plug up these holes now because a lot of my people are dying and don't want, this isn't my house, but this is gonna do. I don't want everybody to be dying on my behalf. So what I'm gonna have to do is look at the bright and sunny day. I'm probably just gonna mine some of these trees and then with mining, with mining these trees, Okay. Oh, there's two of you. Oh, this is not fun. I forgot to put this on. Um, more water. And okay. Hopefully, this is enough water. Where are you now? There we go. Now you're dead. So yeah, it's probably just best if I just place slabs on all of them. I don't know why I wasted my time. That's a really nice touch as well. And the air just... I thought that was like a... Just everything just makes this game just perfect, honestly. But everybody has to dream big, honestly. Because if you limit yourself, you limit, limit all your expectations, not truly doing the best for yourself, well, you're gonna stay stuck in that cycle. Stuck? You're gonna stay stuck in that cycle. And eventually you're gonna find, finally find out and learn the hard way. That's what happens with a lot of people in life. 
They don't push themselves to dream big, to have all these ac different accomplishments in life. If you solely limit yourself on, oh, I can't do this, I can't do this. Well, how are you ever going to know if you can't do it, if you don't try? And I'll make it pretty later. I just need a lot of these so my villagers stop dying. Is this another pitfall? Yeah, it is. Don't gotta make it look pretty, I just gotta make it efficient. Oh, you gotta be- I don't- This is honestly one of the most annoying blocks that I've ever come across. And I just- What am I doing? Because honestly, just falling infinitely, and then not begin being able to get your- there's so, so, yeah. I gotta plug up all these holes so people stop dying. I'll probably have to build like a fence around all of this area, so. But like, something, not a fence. Oh, uh, what is it called? Like a, a wall. So that all my people stay in. Well, not, I don't think they could actually adventure out on their own, but I don't want any monsters getting in, potentially killing my villagers, which is not going to be the funnest. Okay. Almost finished, I hope. And I messed up. But yeah, these snow things are the most obnoxious blocks. These things are tedious to build around. Oh, okay. There, I think I finally got the majority of- nope. So that's normal snow, and that's the obnoxious snow. It has like a very particular texture to it. This is kind of obnoxious that they're all just walking into it. They have like no survival instincts. So if I'm on like, never knew what to call these. It's like the little snow slabs that build up. So if I stand on those, I'm not going to sink through. Oh, I'm almost out too. There's a lot of this, like, <laughs> this is, I keep thinking it's nighttime, but in reality, it's just the uh, clouds covering it. Like, I just love all of this. It's just so beautiful to me. some of this mm, oh you gotta be kidding me dude okay this <laughs> why is there just so much I don't know I'm on the last stack I've already spent like two days trying to cover all of this so I'm going to have to not worry so much about it okay back inside, go to sleep, not die to the potential threats of this world. But I'm going to keep encouraging everybody to dream big. Go for those ideas. Go for what makes you happy. Because if you stay focused so much on, oh, I can't do it. I am not capable. Well, everybody's capable of doing something. It's just, it's just the matter of choice of what you apply yourself to. Are you going to apply yourself? to do all these cool and different things or are you just going to save them for a later time and not really do anything about it oh I got three good ones and I almost died 
Now I'm low on water. Okay, great. Probably gonna mine some of this tree and then end it off there. Um, I don't have much stuff to build with. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Why is it snowing now? Well, hopefully everyone is to get something from this and enjoy today's video. And as always, God bless everybody. And I love all my viewers. And thank you for so, so much for watching today's video. And I'm gonna leave it off on here. See ya.